to BBC News. I'm your host, Pranami Trakma, and I'm bringing you an important story about the majestic predator that is under threat right now. It is the Royal Bengal Tiger. There are severe challenges that the Royal Bengal Tiger is facing in the Shundarban mangrove forest in Bangladesh such as habitat loss and fragmentation. A mangrove forest is a unique wetland ecosystem inhibiting the edge of the land and the sea, rooted and thriving in the seawater. The Shundarban is not only the largest mangrove forest, but it is also a critical habitat for this species. Climate change exacerbates the habitat loss in the Shundarban through the rising sea levels, further reducing the available habitat for the Royal Bengal tigers. Additionally, poaching remains a significant threat as they're being hunted for their skins, the bones, and the other parts of the body which are highly valued in the illegal wildlife trade market. Moreover, the forest is shrinking due to deforestation as infrastructure projects like roads and settlements are being fragmented into this unique ecosystem isolating the tiger habitats and this reduces the prey availability, increases the dangerous encounters between the human and the tigers, further endangering the species and isolating the tiger habitats and disrupting their movement. The consequences are alarming and detrimental. A study by MD Zawul Islam, a researcher, has revealed that there is a sharp decline in the tiger population. In 2004, he estimated that there were about 693 tigers. Ten years later, in 2014, there were about 182. And there is a slight increase in 2018 with 202 tigers. This habitat loss left the tiger population struggling to find mates. This reduces the genetic diversity, which is a vital factor for the long-term survival. Islam states that the Shundarban mangrove forest encounters two principal problems, the destruction of the forest and the transformation of the forest from the individualistic to the community-based. Doubling the tiger population is likely possible if the natural environment permits the big cat's ecology to persist. In response, the conservationists are taking actions. Protected areas are being established and the wildlife corridors are being developed to reconnect the fragmented habitats. Anti-poaching measures are also being placed, while the local communities are being educated about sustainable practices to minimize the conflicts with the tigers. The Royal Bengal Tiger survival depends on the collective effort. Governments, conservation, organizations, and the individuals all have a role in preserving the unique biodiversity of the Shundarban. That's the story for tonight. Stay tuned for more news about the U.S. election.